So you have to remember that our population, as I said, was 22,500, but for about 11 months of the year, it can be up to 60,000 um, with tourism. Now, 60,000 people is the population of the city of Inverness. And we have it for 11 months of the year, but yet we're funded for 22,500. Thankfully, many of the people who come on, you know, to, for, as tourists, and they are very, very well, we, we welcome them because it's one of the biggest industries. They tend to be very well, healthy, uh, or indeed, if they've got conditions, they look after them very well because they have to if they're in, if they're going to travel in the first place. Um, but we do see you, you can't predict that some of these people will um, destabilize and need admission. Uh, the hills are always there. It's, it's beautiful. I I enjoy walking myself. I'm nowhere near fit enough to be part of a mountain rescue team and seeing the weather that they tend to go up in, I have no interest in going up. It is absolutely heroic work what they do because um, that's usually when the accidents happen is in bad weather or poor weather. Um, we do see a lot of mountain injuries coming into us. It can be as simple as sprains, stumbles, falls. It can be falls of several hundred meters. Um, we one of our my colleagues uh, Brian Tregaskis is on the local mountain rescue team and has been for many many years um, and he's also the medical uh, doctor to independent Scottish mountain rescue which comprises the busiest teams in Scotland 80% um, of all mountain rescue call outs for the whole of Scotland happen within our region and would feed into our hospital where, where medical attention is needed um, so we hypothermia is another common one, um, both exposure to the cold or indeed um, immersion in the water, which is very cold up here. Um, and um, we, yeah, we do see a disproportionate number of um, injuries coming in off the hill. Um, we'd see a disproportionate number of trauma because the road infrastructure is not good. Um, I mentioned the forestry industry and you can get caught behind a logging truck um, and get frustrated and want to overtake it. Um, and uh, as I say on that, it's a very twisty but beautiful journey to Inverness up along the shores of Loch Ness, but you, you cannot overtake unless you're absolutely sure. And unfortunately people take risks and some pretty horrible accidents do happen and they would be fed into us, um, um, you know, once retrieved by um, the various emergency services. 